guys welcome to my channel vinyl beauty welcome back i'm debbie if you don't know me so in today's video we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics which is eyeshadow palettes now i've seen a couple of videos recently by my friends that have been covering winter and festive eyeshadow palettes and i wanted to do my version so i'll link the two that i've watched which are kerry k who did a uh, winter themed palettes like anything that you could use in the winter season really and christmas and then my friend Steph, who did a countdown ranking of her holiday palettes from the past. Mine's going to be a bit of a combination of the two. I'm not going to rank the palettes. I'm going to show you some palettes from the past, some from the, the present, some I've not even used yet, actually. But that would be perfect for winter, so frosty kind of looks, but also for warm and toasty Christmas kind of looks, but also sparkly party looks and New Year's looks. So covering the whole spectrum of sort of everything that you might need in December and January really. So I'm really excited to show you, we've got a lot here, there's 15, 16, 17, I can't remember how many exactly I've pulled out now, but there's a lot of, of palettes covering a number of brands from both drugstore kind of pricing right up to high end, and as I say, there's some from the past and some from the present day as well. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it and I'll show you my picks for winter and festive palettes okay guys some of these palettes that i'm going to show you are festive themes so they've got a christmas theme or you know very sparkly kind of theme to them and a very winter themed some are palettes that came out at other times of the year but i think they'd be perfect for this time of the year so i'm just going to dive in in no particular order and show you my picks so the first one I've got to show you, I've not used yet, and I'm so excited to actually own it. And it's the Colourpop Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer palette. Now you couldn't get much more sort of cosy feels, Christmassy vibes than this palette. I think it's quite an approachable colour story for a lot of people as well. As I say, I've not used it yet, it's new into my collection. But I just really wanted it because of the theming to it. And it just screams Christmas to me. But in, like I say, a very approachable way. Like you've got greens and you've got reds. But they're not the like pillar box red or, you know, the Kelly green. They're not like that kind of brightness to them. They're a bit more muted and safe. But that does look to be a beautiful red shimmer there. You've got some more sort of wine tones in here. A bit more mulberry berry kind of leaning. You've got some neutrals too, which... I love neutral looks at this time of year actually because I love a bright red statement lip but with a neutral eye look and that's more so the kind of look that I rock over the festive period because I don't want to be spending a lot of time doing makeup looks if I'm out and about and I'm visiting friends or you know even to a Christmas party I just want to have an effective look but as I say perhaps a bit more of a neutral look so I think this is going to be beautiful. It's got the traditional shimmers that you kind of expect from Colourpop. There are no sequin shadows. There are no pressed glitters. So it looks like I'm going to have a really good time with this one. As I say, I've not used it yet, but that's my first pick. This one, the Holidays, Holidays, Holidays palette by Colourpop, which was the Muppets one from last year. I don't know if it's got my favourite formulas in here because there are some pressed glitters in here. And I don't know if there are sequin shadows. No, there's not. But there's a couple of their new pearlescent glitters. I'm not really a fan of any sort of glitters on my eyes. I value my eyes too much to be putting kind of abrasive glitters on my lids. But they do look gorgeous in the pan. But this shade's lovely. This party animal shimmer. That's really beautiful. And that green, being green, is really quite impactful, actually. There's some really nice mattes in here. And you can go like super light and just like I say the sort of neutral kind of crease that I enjoy at this time of year or you can do your sort of festive kind of wintry cold kind of blue looks with this palette but more so than anything it's just one of those palettes that when I pull it out of my collection to use it it just gives me that festive feel good and some of the palettes that I'm going to show you that's what it's all about for me because I think makeup is an experience as well as doing your eye look it's all about sort of how it makes you feel while you're doing it for me and so a lot of times I wouldn't want to reach for like a rainbow palette at Christmas time I want a palette that has got these kind of shades in but that has got that Christmas theme and this one definitely has the 
the Christmassy vibe to it and I love the Muppets. The Muppets Christmas Carol is one of my favourite movies of all time and yeah just think they did a really nice job with this one. Also on the more affordable side I've got one from BH Cosmetics. Now this isn't Christmas themed but this is such a frosty palette. So it's the Blueberry Muffin palette. They brought out a few of these. They brought an avocado toast. I think there's a Mimosa blush palette. It was all like brunch themed, but this one I've had for a couple of years, maybe three years, I don't know when it came out, but I got it when it came out. But it's the shimmers in this one. They're like those icy frosty kind of tones. And then you've got some purpley blues. I did a really beautiful frosted look when I first got this one. I'll have to link it if I can find that because I just remember thinking how perfect this palette was to do those sort of icy frosty kind of looks that look so beautiful at this time of year. It's got some neutrals in here. I quite like a neutral crease with like a frosty shade on the lid as well so it definitely caters for that it's not a Christmassy palette by any means but it's got frosty shades that I think are perfect for winter and a really nice formula as well this was when BH had a formula that was worth talking about and I haven't bought anything from BH since they were bought by Makeup Revolution so I can't speak for the quality but at this time I just think they were so on their game and just everything they were bringing out kind of tempted me and I wanted to buy it and I've got some more BH coming up later, but I'm going to save those to the end. Next up, I've got three palettes to show you from Nomad. I think they've done a couple of winter palettes really, really well. And then I've got a Christmas one as well to show you. So first up, we've got the Whistler Snow Lodge palette. And this palette, when I look at it, it gives me that cozy cabin kind of vibes, you know? Uh, Wham's last Christmas if you've seen the video to that where they're in a cozy sort of cabin in the snow and they go out skiing and throwing snowballs and going on the ski lift it's all of those kind of vibes to me when I look at this palette it's like being cozy and wrapped up by the fire in this side of the palette and then there's like the nature on this side of the palette and then all the icy cold sort of snowy tones in the middle there such a beautiful colour story and there's some unique shifty tones in here like the white that goes to pink that looks like sort of glittering snow and yeah it's one of my favourites from them actually and yeah I think they did an awesome job with it. Really nice shimmers in here, really pigmented and easy to blend mattes, just gorgeous. The next one from them that really captures the snow and ice and just winter theme is the Land of Fire and Ice palette based on Iceland of course and the glaciers. I've been to Iceland and swam in the Blue Lagoon and on the way we saw all of the, the glaciers and it's just such a beautiful place so to me it evokes a lot of memories. I've also been to Greenland and similar kind of vibe there where you've got like icebergs, I mean we saw icebergs in port that we could almost touch from the ship there but you've also got like the northern lights kind of area of the palette here and all the skies that it evokes and then sort of the glow and the warmth from a campfire in the palette as well so it gives you all the warm and toasty feels but with the the frozen sort of glaciers as well in this palette and as I say perfect for either side of Christmas you know if you want the warm sort of glow to it or if you want the pretty frosty kind of side of it so such a nice palette the last one from them though, and one of my favourites really, they always bring out a nine panel they have for, for quite a number of years and I think this was the best one that they did at Christmas time. It's called the Home for the Holidays palette in that glittery packaging they used to do. And this one's all shimmer apart from the black. And it was genius really because packing any of these shimmers over the black just gives them a whole different dimension. But this one reminds me of kind of like the glittering lights that are in my background. You know, it's fairy light kind of colours and all the shimmers that you might want for the festive season all in one package here. And these are the sort of shimmers that I love. So everybody talks about these ultra reflective textured kind of shimmers. When you're 55, like me, those sort of shimmers really pick up a lot of texture. I do like them and they're pretty, but these are more the sort of shimmers I like because they're smooth and reflective and so they're a lot more forgiving, but they're still very impactful and beautiful. And these are easy to pick up on a brush. Every one of these shades performs really well. 
the red is one of my favorite reds in my collection and i love the yellowy gold that shade called family and i love that you've got a frosty white shimmer as well so it really packs a punch for only having nine shades you've got a lot of scope for shimmers here good companion palette for some of the others that i've shown you already as well the next one i'm going to show you is a very new acquisition in my collection i've not used it at all i've not touched it but i'm pretty confident to recommend it because i love the formula from this brand and it's cosmic brushes winter wonderland so this is like i don't know so i see like i don't know if you imagine like strolling in a frozen wasteland of like beautiful glittering hues of blues and greens and yeah just frosty tones and a lot more beautiful than i thought it was going to be so i'm a little bit intimidated by blue eyeshadow i've said this a number of times but there's really not too much blue in it so there's a couple of blues here and there's one there and the rest of it is green and purple but what makes this so special is the duo chrome shades or multi chrome shades you've got one here called atmosphere which shows green to blue to purple just so beautiful and then you've got winter solstice which you'll probably see it pink there but if i tilt it it's like a, a mint green it's just so stunning so I'm really excited to play with this one. I've got a number of looks in my head that I could do with this, but I think it's just so frosty, so unique of a colour story. Like a lot of the tones that I see, but there's so much variation in tone in the palette, which I think is unusual to find. Even this one here that, that's called Frost, this is more a shimmer shade, but it's just so reflective and sparkly and beautiful and you've got depth and you've got lightness in this palette so there's so many different ways you could go with it to create so many different beautiful winter looks so yeah so pretty and the packaging itself looks like those sort of shards of ice that you get you know when you get like frost on a window pane yeah it's just gorgeous next up i've got a couple of palettes from nabla to show you and this one isn't a christmas scene palette at all but i think it'd be perfect for this time of year and it's their dreamy too it's got a really celestial kind of look to the packaging it's so so beautiful not used this one in a long long time and when i was pulling palettes for this video i was like why not because it's just so gorgeous it's the finishes on this one it's got some really pretty twinkly shimmers in here but it's that gold for me that shade called libertine i'm always looking for like a twinkly sparkly gold at christmas time and this one's so beautiful but then you've got some shades of sort of a bit more mulberry burgundy red in here as well to mix with it and then some a bit more frosty kind of shades like this one's really special it's uh like a lilac but it's got some silver and gold sparkles in it so there's some really interesting shades in this palette so if you've got it it's one to pull out definitely for this time of year and this one is the one i thought about first when i thought about nabla and it's one of their cutie palettes it's a platinum palette because i love a silver shadow at this time of year and particularly for new years i always gravitate to silver i don't know why more gold at christmas and silver for new years i don't know if you guys are the same but that shade is what it's all about. This is the best silver in my collection, bar none. It's definitely PC, it's quite gritty, but not in a bad way. It doesn't like have too much fallout to go in your eyes. It just is very dimensional without showing too much texture. It's got quite a smooth base to it, but then kind of some reflective particles within that base. And it's not one of these emollient kind of shimmers that are around these days it is quite dry which i prefer uh, because it doesn't crease on me it's just absolutely stunning i can't say enough good things about it and then with a neutral crease which you've got a deeper shade and then some lighter ones to to blend it out you can really make a stunning and easy to create look with as i say one of the best silvers i've ever come across there is another silver that I've just thought of that perhaps beats that one, but it's different. That one's, as I say, more twinkly and sparkly, and the one I'm going to show you in a bit is a bit more smoother. Right, next up I've got Linda Halberg, when Linda Halberg was Linda Halberg and not LH Cosmetics. So we're going back probably four years ago, and 
I don't think she's ever surpassed these to be fair they were expensive they were like 50 pounds for four shades but there's a reason for that they're as special as the special shades from Pat McGrath they're just gorgeous so this was the Metallic Mysteries 2. Sadly for me, I don't own the Metallic Mysteries 1 because I only found the brand after that one was discontinued. I always wish she would bring it back. But these are quads. This one is just quintessentially Christmas in a quad. They're all shimmer uh, or kind of satiny shimmer, but they're really rich and got so much luster to them. You could use them as, as mattes or as shimmers really. They're, as I say, they're a satin formula that blends out. But then this shade, what's it called? Collision, that's it. Uh, it's such a beautiful twinkly topper shade. It's just stunning. So yeah, that's a gorgeous palette at Christmas. This one's really special as well. This is the Enchanted Mysteries palette. This one I pulled out because it has got a really special green in here. It's green to purple uh, duo chrome. But it's this frosty sort of white uh, purpley shade it's like a purpley pink frosty shade that makes it really special i think and again just such a good formula in here you've got two of these shades that are a bit more like the satin and then two duo chromes in this one so as we've mentioned pat mcgrath i'm going to talk about a couple of her motherships that i think are perfect for this time of year this one's my favorite i think of all time which is the bronze seduction on mothership five this one's special because of this quad here. Now that shade there just looks white in the, the pan there, but it's got a shift of gold. I don't know if you're seeing it as I tilt it. And then the one next to it has got a shift of green in it. That's a beautiful red shimmer. And then you've got one that's pink to gold. And they're just my favorite of her special shades. And then you've got all the neutrals to use with it, but it's all about that quad at the top. They're just stunning shades. If you don't have this palette and you've never tried Pat McGrath and you wonder what the fuss is about, this is the one to go for that really showcases those special shades that they just don't seem to be putting in the palettes anymore. But this was the first one that really got me to understand the hype for the brand. And yeah, it's just beautiful to use at Christmas time. It's effortless to get a really special look out of this one. I've also pulled out the Mothership 10 Moonlit Seduction. I've got the Sunlit Seduction as well, but I think the Moonlit Seduction is perhaps more one that I would gravitate towards for New Year's because again, the shimmers in here are really special. They're not what we would call the special shades like the bake shades that I've just shown you in the Bronze Seduction, but they are super sparkly and really, really impactful and pretty on the eyes. All four of these are gorgeous. So you've got one that's sort of got an icy bluey sort of shade. You've got one that's got a, a base of like red, but it's got a green kind of shift to it. It's looking green to you on camera, but it's looking red when I'm looking at it. It's really magical. Uh, you've got a gold in there. And then you've got some more sort of mulberry and wine kind of tones in this shade here and some neutrals to go with it. And your brow bone highlight shade. So it's a really good one for like classy New Year's looks that where you want some sparkle, but you want it to look a little bit understated and pretty as well. This one's your one. Next up, we've got what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. I've just filmed the look for this and I thought I'd film another video afterwards. And it's the Melt Cosmetics Christmas Town Palette. You couldn't get more festive feels than this palette. I just love the way it's presented. The, the Jack Skeleton there that's lenticular is just gorgeous. The shades are just so festive and fun. And there's some purples to play with in this one, which I didn't play with in this, this look, but you've got your reds and your greens and some twinkle in there. The mattes are fantastic in this palette as well. So yeah, I had a really good time playing with this, but I'll let you watch the video so that you can see my full thoughts. But yeah, definitely a really nice one to use at Christmas time if you have it. Next up, we've got another new palette in my collection. So I can't speak for the quality, but I hear very good things about this brand. I've only had it in my collection about a week, just not got around to filming with it. And it's the Cozy Cabin palette from Simply Posh. The packaging really got me. Like, this is like looking through cabin windows at somebody else's decorations. You know, you can just about see the twinkle of the light through the windows. It's just so festive and beautiful. And then the shades, I think, are really different for Christmas because they're a little bit more muted 
and approachable. Like you haven't got, as I say, your pillar box reds in here or your bright greens. You know, it's a lot more muted in tone, but not in a bad way at all. You've got some deepening shades, but even the deeper shades are not that deep in this one. I think you're gonna get a very daytime appropriate, but really pretty and glittery and sparkly look with this one. So you've got your deeper shade row, you've got some really beautiful duochrome shimmers in the middle, and then some lighter shades to blend out with. And yeah, it's gonna be really easy to create looks with this one, I think, because you've got all the columns that just have a particular color story. So this is the column that really is speaking to me. I think this lavender kind of row is such an unusual take on Christmas. You've got the frosty vibes, but you've also got the warm tone vibes, kind of almost like two nine pans I'm seeing this, this palette as. And yeah, just really unique and pretty in my collection. Really wanted to try the brand and I'm excited that this is the first one that I'll be trying of theirs. Now we're getting on to the heavy hitters for Christmas, the ones that I would always think of if I think of Christmas palettes. And one of my favorite palettes in my entire collection of 400 and odd eyeshadow palettes that I own is the Christmas Morning from Give Me Glow. I mean, just look at it. It's It's got the Christmas, tartan on the front and the bow and the tag it's just christmas in an eyeshadow palette packaging wise but the shades inside are they're just perfection honestly this was the one that i was saying that's got the the most smooth and reflective and beautiful silver in my collection so i say the one from the nabla platinum is a lot more glittery and sparkly this is smooth and reflective and it just goes on for days and days if you've tried the shimmers from give me glow you'll know what i mean they're they're really something special and it's got a beautiful red in stocking stuffers that gifts galore is like a I don't know, blue brown kind of to green shift to it. You've got a gorgeous gold in here as well. Mine's got them very messy, <laughs> but I've used this palette quite a lot because it's really easy to use at this time of the year. It's got all of the colors that you might want. The red in here, Cozy Fire, isn't too much of a bright red. It's quite a, a brownish red in a way, but it just complements the, the shimmer so, so well. And it stays red. It doesn't go pink when you blend it out, which is another thing that I look for in a red. And you've got the brown to deepen it up. As I say, it's all about this silver though for me. This silver and this red shimmer, they're the, the two shades that I love this palette the most for. And then gifts galore. So yeah, really all the shimmers in here. They're just perfection. And then the last two I've got are both by BH Cosmetics. So you probably know which ones I'm gonna show you. We've got the Naughty palette, which I think came out three years ago it might be it's scary to think it's that long ago because it doesn't feel it but i think it was three years ago and the packaging is just so festive and fun i think this one's special because of the tones that are in it there's all the warm and cozy feels in this palette you've got some berry tones in there you've got some purples as well you've got some pressed glitters but they're not the sort of pressed glitters that are like worrying to me to use that they don't really feel like press glitters honestly they're smooth enough to use for me you've got a forest green in here you've got some neutrals in here it's just so easy to make festive looks with this palette and although there's a lot of shades it's very cohesive so it's not one that's daunted or intimidating to think of looks with everything kind of goes with everything else apart from the purples but they're stand out anyway yeah it's just really really gorgeous and particularly as i say if you're looking for those wine and berry tones this one's got you covered with these kind of shades here Right, more than that one though, I think this one is my favourite. This is the Miss Claus The Lit List by BH. I think this came out two years ago. And this is like Christmas baubles. It's just so, so beautiful. It does have a couple of pressed glitters. The gold and the red are pressed glitters. But it kind of adds to the aesthetic of the palette. I'm not mad that they're there because when I open it, it just brings me joy to look at it. I don't know if you're like that with some of your palettes you open them and just like they just bring you joy to see like how they're presented that's what this one does for me it just gets me in that festive spirit it's got all the reds and greens it's got some wine tones it's got the frosty blues it's got some neutral so there's a lot of bases covered in this palette the formula for the shimmers are that sort of shimmer formula that i love just the traditional pressed 
shimmer that's easy to pick up on a brush that doesn't show too much texture but that is still impactful yeah there's a lot to to recommend this palette it was so cheap as well i think i picked it up for 11 dollars in the sale when i bought this i bought it from the bh us website when it was in the sale in january so yeah i've had this one for a good while have used it on my channel i'll have to link the video for that for you but yeah i think i might take this one on my cruise because it's got so many colors that you might want at this time of year all in one package so i'm going on a canary islands cruise at christmas going on the 22nd and coming back on the 5th of january so the whole of christmas and new year so i'm looking for palettes to take with me and i think the last three that i've shown you is what i'm going to take so i'm going to have to take the christmas morning because i love the silver shimmer that's in there so i think that'll be perfect for new year and i think the cozy cabin will be great because as I say, it's set out in columns, super easy. You've got a deepening shade, you've got a shade to blend out and you've got a really pretty twinkly shimmer to put on the lid. So if this works out well formula-wise, I think this will be coming with me as well and that's probably all I'm gonna need. So yeah, I've really enjoyed showing you some winter eyeshadow palettes, Christmas eyeshadow palettes, palettes that can be used for the festive season that haven't got the, the festive theme as well. But it's really got me into the Christmas spirit. So I hope it has as well for you. And it, I hope it inspires you to have a rummage through your collection and see if you've got any of these palettes or what you do have. You'll have to let me know. Are there some that I've not got that are ones that you gravitate towards at this time of the year? Because I know I've not got every festive palette. And I don't have as many festive palettes as I do Halloween palettes, weirdly. I don't think there's quite so many Christmas palettes come out as Halloween the brands don't seem to go quite so hard for Christmas but I think I've got a fair selection here and I don't really need any more so so yeah it's been fun showing them to you so I hope you've enjoyed watching I hope if you're new to my channel you might consider subscribing I try to do some looks with older palettes over the festive season as well as showing you some of the new things that I've brought into my collection it's always a fun time to do a bit of a nostalgic sort of throwback look I think because Christmas is such a nostalgic time so if you want to see some older eyeshadow palette content then yeah definitely subscribe to see what's coming up in December from me but thank you so much for watching this one guys I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are and I'll catch you in the next one bye guys